Good morning, everybody here and online. Um, those of you that um, heard me talk in the fall, I'm just going to briefly touch on some of that stuff in case we have anybody new listening, and then we'll cover some um, new things we've been up to and some ways for everybody to get involved, some physically, some not physically. So whatever your level of comfortability or motivation is, we've got something for you. Um, again, I'm Melanie Misik. I'm the director of our school and child development center. Um, happy to be here in person with you guys um, and happy to see everybody at home. So our school falls under equip and share um, and that's a perfect spot for us because we are trying to build up these little followers of Christ and just share love with them in every possible opportunity we have with them and their families. Um, so just a little refresher, right now we are serving the wee 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 ones up to 12 year olds. So that kind of um, gives the span of who we're serving right now. Um, some of it, you know, we're going to lose those bigger kids as we go into the fall, but um, the need this year was just to have a virtual room for those, um, especially siblings of kids that already go here, kids that aren't going into the public school at all. And then the hope is that these little ones are going to be with us for five years and stay with us, and we're going to be able to have a big imprint on their lives. Um, uh, we've had increase of enrollment um, since I last talked to you. So we're up to 108 kiddos right now. Um, and that is a huge accomplishment. Going into the triple digits is a great thing. Um, it is, to me, a representation of the number of lives we can impact. And um, those kids are here daily, but what we want to do is impact them beyond the time that they're here. So we want to reach their families and their small knit community too. Um, and then aside from that, our staff grows with those kiddos. So that's 24 additional people that are here helping us support those kids that we also want to be here supporting and um, they need our prayer and support in other ways too. Um, some things that we have been able to do during this time and just this past year, we're one of the few programs in the area that has actually expanded during this time. Um, Back in March, we closed for one week while we kind of assessed what we were going to do. We felt it on our hearts that it was still very imperative for us to be here for our families. So we opened up a week later, and since then, God has just, to con just continued to reaffirm that we made the right choice and keep sending kids and families here and staff to take care of them. Um, because of that, because we didn't stay closed, because we're continuing to be open, to not have outbreaks and things like that. We're getting a really great name in the community as a stable, safe place um, that people can count on, they can rely on. Um, when you're sending your kiddos somewhere and your, you know, your work is depending on you, you've got to know that you've got somebody that's going to be there consistently and provide that reliable care. And we have that reputation right now, and that's something that you know, we want to keep and we can use everybody's support to keep bettering this establishment and just keep, um, keep showing these little ones um, in their hearts the love of God. So some ways that you guys can get involved to help grow the kingdom. Um, the main thing, the easiest thing, the thing you could start doing today if you wanted to, is just praying for those 24 staff members, um, those 108 kiddos, and then beyond that, their families. So not just the families of the kids, but the families of the staff. Um, the staff, you know, they're working in stressful times, just like those of you that are working. Um, they're working long hours. They're surrounded by a classroom of germ buckets, so to speak, all day. So we just want to be thanking God that they're here and showing up every day and continued health for them, um, continued having it on their heart to stay and blessing those kids. So that's something we could all go home today and start doing. And, you know, maybe you can pick a dedicated time once a week or once a day to just have that on your heart and your conversation with God to just be lifting them up. If you feel drawn to help physically and feel comfortable being in the school, um, we would love to have you come read to kids, come help lead chapel time in their classroom with them, help in the office, um, play with them, push the stroller and buggies around, especially as it's going to be getting nicer. Um, if you want to take some kiddos outside on a walk, we would love that. And then just being a face like in the lobby or um, as parents are coming to pick up and drop off their kids, that welcoming face so they can start to get to know us as a church and not just as a school. 
Um, if you aren't so much the face-to-face -face type person but still are willing to give physically, we have plenty of organizing and cleaning that needs to go on, especially between now and the time that the parents come back in the building. So if you love organizing, if the container store is your favorite place to be, we have a job for you. Um, we also are doing like uh, grocery pickups. I'll do the ordering. We need somebody to run and go get those. We won't make you unload your own vehicle. We are happy to do that. Um, if you just communicate with us when you're available, we can set that up for you. Um, our older kiddos, even starting at like our four-year-olds, would love to have pen pals. So if you like writing cards or if you just like sending them a sticker book, whatever it is, some way that they can communicate with some other adult. Um, some of them don't have an active adult in their lives, so that's just, you know, you become a reliable correspondent with them. And then also writing welcome cards to new families. Um, just welcoming them to the school, letting them know that you're happy to have them here as a part of our family and community. Um, just a way to reach out. That doesn't have to be a continued thing, but just a one-time welcome letter and perhaps around the holidays. So um, just some motivation. Um, this is kind of what I feel like God has placed upon us as our responsibility for being at the school. Um, all these kids walk in the door every day. So it's untapped opportunity if we sit here and do nothing. So yes, we can just be a school. Yes, we can just be the caregiver. We can be the place that they come and just be that daycare. But I don't think that's what he's challenged us to do. I think he's challenged us to have an impact on their life. And what that takes is making a relationship with them. And you can't make a relationship with them without getting to know them. So that takes effort on our part. Um, and I am happy to talk to anybody that wants more information about helping build relationships with these families, but we want to make sure they feel welcomed, loved. They might not look like us, talk like us, act like us. Um, most of them don't come here because we're a Christian school. They come here because they need safe care for their families. So we want to love them where they are and help them find the true love that we all have from Christ, and we want to do that through showing them what a good and loving relationship looks like. So if that's on your heart, please come see me or come find me or email me or call me and I'll help you get connected with the right families. Um, I'm in a director's forum with other face-based programs and uh, we're all getting these shirts. I don't know if you can um, read it back there, but it says, make heaven crowded. So we're all talking about like the hustle and bustle that's in these schools that are packed and like you have to walk sideways to get down the hallway because you're trying to social distance with everybody, but wouldn't it just be so amazing if we see all those kiddos and their families in heaven and it's crowded like that and there's nowhere to, nowhere to move because we're just surrounded by believers. Like what a goal that should be for us and um, how wonderful it would be to just make these kids members of the kingdom with us. Um, so that motivates me. I hope it motivates you to want to reach out to these families. They need us, they love us, um, we love them as brothers and sisters already, and we just want to make sure we're making that lasting imprint on their lives.